All right, well, I have a new computer. It's been long overdue. I think the old computer I had was about seven years old. It was an Acer Predator G6 630 or something like that. Anyway, it was a nice computer at the time, and it still worked pretty good with Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom, um, using Adobe Lightroom Classic CC. And um, with my Nikon Z7 45.7 uh, megapixel files, raw files, um, you know, it, it still did pretty good and, you know, it was reasonable and um, could have kept that computer longer, actually, but I just wanted something faster. And since, you know, the here in the U.S., they had that, that um, stimulus money, uh, payments basically going back to the taxpayers, um, I went ahead and used that money to, um, during the, well, that was for the, um, coronavirus, coronavirus, um, issue, you know, the shutdown and all that to kind of stimulate things. So they gave that money, some money back to the taxpayers. Anyway, so that's what I used to buy this. It's a CLX, um, it's made by Cybertron and Cybertron, if you're not familiar with them, uh, what they do is they, um, they basically build their own computers. Um, they use name brand, um, processors and motherboards and so on. Uh, and they just kind of put it all together in, in, in their own um, tower. You know, this is a, a mini tower PC, I think it is. And um, it's got all the USB ports that I need, similar to what I used to have. Um, but you can see this has an AMD Radeon 5700 um, video card, you know, the 8 gig version. It's got the AMD Ryzen, Ryzen 7 uh, 8 core, 16 logical processors, and 16 gig of uh, DDR4 RAM. I think it's like 3,000 megahertz on the RAM. Um, it's got a 240 gig SSD for the uh, operating system and the apps that I install. And then I've got a um, three terabyte regular hard drive. So um, let's open up Lightroom now. And we'll just kind of see. One thing I noticed when I open up Lightroom, I'll go ahead and start that. Um, it is still a little slow to start up and load, but it is quite a bit quicker than it used to be. Uh, on my old computer. So uh, when I can start switching around photos, I'll know it's ready. It's not ready yet. Okay, so now it's, okay, so now I think it's ready. Um, the other thing I noticed, now these are just pictures I took today I'm kind of working on. Um, so like one thing I noticed before in the library module uh, on that older computer and just in general, when you're in the library module, for whatever reason, if you try to zoom in on a picture 100%, it's a lot slower than it is if you were in the develop module. So let me go back over to the um, library module. And this is where it used to be a lot slower. So I zoom in and uh, it's still loading. Actually, it, after I've had it open for a few minutes, it's actually quicker. But see, it takes a little bit longer to load there in the library module. But now over here in the develop module, zoom in. And now it's already 100% um, and fully loaded. Um, OK, so. The, I noticed that uh, importing pictures and the preset that I apply, which basically just adds a, you know, a few things like um, it applies the picture profile that I want, you know, whatever sharpening and so on, just the basics. Uh, that's quite a bit quicker. And these are, so these are DNG files. I converted these from NEF to DNG uh, because they end up being about 10 megabit, 10 megabytes smaller. So this file is 46. 11 megabytes excuse me um, before when it was an NEF it was probably around 56 megabytes so for my Z7 photos I, I convert them to DNG uh, for the Z50 I have which is just a 20 megapixel sensor APS-C I just I don't convert those I just leave them the same and um, they're not much smaller when I convert those to DNG so I'll go ahead and export these I usually um, export to um, I've got a little export preset here. I'm just going to email a picture or something. So 1600. Um, well, yeah, I've already got these. I'm just going to override them. So let's just see how long it takes. It says up here I'm exporting 10 files. And again, this is um, the Nikon Z7 45.7 megapixel um, per file. And it's already chewed through at least half of them. I'll be done here shortly. I can hear the fan spinning up a little bit. The one thing I should have done, task manager. 
no, oh, now it's finished already. But um, let's go ahead and close that. So yeah, it was quite a bit quicker. So it's just a quick look at my new computer and um, a lot happier with this than the old one. And I would actually recommend this brand. Like again, it's the CLX, uh, but it's made by Cybertron International or Cybertron PC. Um, I can't remember. I think they actually had sold these in Walmart. I got this through the Army and Air Force Exchange Service um, because I'm a veteran. I can shop there online and there's no tax. So this one, the total price was about $1,229. And um, I looked around. I couldn't really find anything anywhere close to that with the, you know, the, the specs that it has here for the, the um, video card, the processor, the RAM, uh, the hard drive, and the SSD. Um, and, um, so I, yeah, I'm very happy with it. I would definitely recommend it. And, uh, it comes with a one year parts and labor warranty. And then I think it has a lifetime warranty for, um, labor, but not parts. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And there's probably, I think the lifetime warranty applies for any kind of support over the phone and so on. Um, I'd have to check the details, but I, I thought it was also, uh, labor, uh, lifetime, but not lifetime parts, just one year on the parts. I'm pretty sure that's what the deal was, but anyway, I need to go back. Um, here we are. Here's my recording. I'll go ahead and stop that. So, and it, the other nice thing is, uh, with this Radeon software that comes with it, um, with the, probably with that, um, because of the video card and, um, uh, well, I don't know if it, they include it because of the video card and the processor, but I assume if you have either or you can use this for free uh, from Radeon but it does have a screen capture ut utility built in and um, you know a lot of gaming related stuff I don't really do gaming I just wanted to buy a, a nice gaming PC uh, because a good gaming PC is really good for photo editing also so I'll stop that and uh, get it on YouTube goodbye okay,